Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Katie Fawn and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you all how to do your eyebrows like so. This is by far my favorite eyebrow hack slash tutorial slash like method that I've ever done before. And so I was like, I definitely have to share it with the people because it's phenomenal. Um, I have a lot of affordable product options in here and tell you everything that you need to know um, before the video even starts. So before we get into it, make sure that you give the video a like and go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we know you'll be back to it. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so if you're ready to have life-changing eyebrows, let's begin the process. So, I look a little crazy, all right? I know that. I'm fully aware. Um, my face is going through a healing process right now. The things you will need for this is... I should have been better prepared. Okay, the things you will need for this... I sound like I'm in a cooking video. The first thing you're going to need is cornstarch. I'm just kidding. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is some sort of brow glue. So, this can be like the Anastasia Beverly Hills... I think it's literally called the brow glue. Is that what it's called? No, brow freeze. You can use something like that. I like the Patrick Ta um, Major Lamination Gel. This is the NYX, the brow glue. I really love it as well. Um, the only thing on this is that it's a little bit more difficult to use because the wand is not as separating as the Patrick Ta one. So I've just been using that one. And then the other thing that you will need is not an eyebrow pencil, not pomade. It's going to be a felt tip pen. So something that kind of looks like an eyeliner. This is the one from NYX, and it is the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen, and I have mine in the shade LAS08 Espresso. So, you want something a little bit darker than your brows. I do anyway. If you have, like, lighter brows, you may not, but I just find that a darker brow is a little bit more flattering. So, a lot of the times I used to dye my eyebrows, and I would just kind of leave them like that, but I really recently have been loving the, like, pushed-up brow look. And so that's why I'm doing that. It's easy if you have easiest if you have a mirror that's like you can hold close to your face so you can get those really nice hair strokes um, that actually look like hair. And that's the reason that you want to use a felt tip pen like this. They have one from Milani. They have one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Obviously, they have this one from NYX. Um, Glossier has one. ColourPop has one. There's a, a bunch of them at a variety of different price points. I just really recommend that you use something with a felt tip because it does look more natural and it's able to easily create those hair-like strokes. So, the first thing I do is go in and push my brows up. And I have been using the, like I said, the Major Lamination Gel because I just like the way that the bristles on this are, a, a, <laughs> are easily able to separate all my brow hairs. So, I go in and I push the hairs up. Now, I like this also because it's easy to work with. It doesn't dry down too quickly. Um, and I just think that it is a nice product. But it does have a very funky smell. You don't really smell it unless you, like, you know, really get down there and give it a good smell. Okay, my camera cut off just for a second. But what I was saying is you want to go in with something that you can easily move around um, while it's drying down rather than something that's going to harden very quickly. And that's the reason I like this a whole lot. Um, I do have quite a bit of brow hairs, but they're just kind of sparse. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. If I use a serum on them, they get like really thick really quick, but you know, sometimes I don't do that. And obviously, as everyone does, well, usually, I have one brow that behaves far better than the other, and my left brow usually is the one that does good. Sometimes it's not though, sometimes it lets me down. But anyways, I just go and I push them up, but in their natural direction. So if it's a hair that like naturally goes to the left, I'm gonna push it to the left and push it up just so it looks a little bit more full. And I have a scar in this eyebrow, so if you're like, mm, what's happening over there, it's a scar, so don't be worried. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with my um, Lift and Snatch pen, and I keep this stored with the cap on it, obviously, and I store it upside down so that there's a lot of product on the end of it. This is the key part. So you wanna be really focused whenever you do this. It can't just be like, oh, I'm just gonna go in and do this because your eyebrows will look crazy. But I like to go in and start at the base and start with a really light touch and flick upwards. And I'll try to zoom in so you guys can really see what I'm doing. It's kinda hard to like talk in it and describe it at the same time, just more so so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and I like to like look directly at the mirror while I'm doing it so I can really see the strokes that are being created. And then I start at the base and go upwards and I'll show you kinda over here. I just draw where I would want a hair to be. And sometimes I get more pigment and like more payoff with this than others. But honestly, I like the way that it looks because I think it looks more natural. And then when it comes to the inner corner, I like to bring the inner corner of my brows a little bit closer than they are naturally. And so I will go in and rest my pinky on the other side of my face and flick upwards. And I'll do it with a really light hand. That way it looks more natural and also, I don't want to create too many strokes at once or have too much pressure all at once. So, if I'm doing just a little bit at a time, I have more control over what my eyebrows are going to look like. 
Then once I get to my scar, so if you have a similar place or you have a sparse area, you just kind of want to press a little bit harder in this area if you want to cover it up or fill it in. And then I just kind of make the strokes with whatever way that my actual natural hairs go. So in the front one of my brow hairs are going straight up. I'll go straight up with the strokes. And then when they start tilting out, I start doing the same thing with my brush. Because this is so thin, it's really easy. Once you get the hang of it, once you practice it a little bit, it's a lot easier to do. It's also easier to do if you're like not talking and trying to explain it. But it's kind of intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's like, oh, okay, that's a whole lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, and it's quick. And I kind of go with the top of my brows and extend some of the little hairs a little bit. And then that's a general kind of idea of what I want it to look like. And then once I get done with my other eyebrow, I'll kind of go in and be like, okay, then I want this one to be a little bit more thicker or I need to bring the pigment down at whatever point, you know. You know, you just got to kind of like look and see how you want it to look. And then I do the exact same thing over here on this eyebrow. And if you mess up, because a lot of the times I do, especially on this eyebrow, I just find that it's harder to like maneuver my hand the way that I want it to be. You can just take your finger and rub it, like just rub up if you're wanting to get rid of something. And it's pretty easy, as long as it's wet, to, uh, to get rid of it. You could also use a Q-tip, a cotton bud as they call them in the UK. Oh, got it on my chin. Okay, so that's just kind of what I do generally. This one over here is a little bit spikier than what I normally go for, but I feel like that's just kind of the way that it is sometimes, you know, and I don't like get upset about it. I can go in with my gel and like kind of push it down or whatever, but I feel like they're eyebrows and like they're supposed to be kind of fun. I don't know. That's like my vibe with eyebrows. Um, and they're not always going to look the same. And I think that's important to remember too, is that they don't have to look the same and they're probably not always or ever going to look the same. Um, but I think that doing that method makes them look a whole lot more natural. It's really flattering to your face shape. And once you get the hang of it, you can really play around with it rather than using something um, that has a bit of a thicker, pointier end like this um, eyebrow pencil from e.l.f. I love it, but it's a, very, it's a very different look. So if you're wanting more like the powdery, huge, full, bushy brow look, that's, you know, really quick. That's a quick op option for you. But if you're going for something that's like more natural, but also really fluffy, like gorgeous, stunning um, eyebrows that really shape the face and look really nice, I would definitely recommend trying this out. I will have these products mentioned down in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe like learned something. Before you leave, let me know what you think. No hate though, because I actually like them. Um, if I was to redo that or if I was to like spend any more time doing it, I would probably bring this one in a little bit more and uh, make this out here just a little bit thicker to match this side. But other than that, like that's just what I do. You know what I mean? So before you leave, make sure that you give the video a like and also subscribe because it really helps my channel. And we're almost to 500 and that would mean the world. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day.